What's going on folks, OBJ the Don coming at you with another quick video. Um, I want to talk about something that, um, you know, I've overlooked uh, through all the chaos of, um, you know, the uh, announcements of these uh, consoles, the Scorpio and the Neo and, you know, everything going on. Me talking about, you know, whether or not the uh, Scorpio is uh, ne a next gen system or and the Neo is, uh, you know, basically a mid gen system and, you know, getting caught up in everything and all the information that I've um, heard from the heads of these um, companies, you know, uh, the spokesmen like Phil Spencer and, uh, you know, um, Andrew House and people of that nature, gathering that information and making my own interpretation on certain things that they, they've said. Um, it has made me think a whole hell of a lot on what exactly um, is the focus for these uh, two different systems here. Um, now I've overlooked something, uh, uh, a major, a major fact that could potentially be a flaw for uh, both of these uh, systems that we are uh, uh, highly anticipating. Um, I know, uh, you know, uh, Xbox fans are anticipating the uh, Scorpio, even though it's about, it, it, it's a ways off. Um, we don't know when the hell the, the Neo is coming out either. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, Sony isn't saying anything, but the overall, um, <clears throat> the overall expectation is that the Neo will announce this year. Um, now, they're being mum on it, but one one fact, one crucial fact had me thinking today, and as a gamer, it has, um, it, it, I don't know how to feel about this shit. Now, this may affect you, and it may not affect you, depending on your particular reason that you are, um, that you will, uh, purchase these systems. Uh, what are you purchasing these systems for? Um... I would mainly be purchasing uh, uh, the Neo for the ability to play all games, all games in 1080p, 60, 60 frames per second. Um, I, 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 I love to play in 1080p, 60 frames per second. When I play my games on Steam and everything, 1080p per second on everything. You know what I'm saying? Frank, 1080p, 60 frames per second on everything. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so that would be my main reason to get um, um, the Neo or whatever. Um, I think, you know, if you like 1080p, 60 frames per second, and, and, and you enjoy the Xbox exclusives, and you don't have a, 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 you know, a gaming rig or a powerful gaming laptop or anything, um, you may be interested in getting that Scorpio. 1080p, fr uh, 60 frames per second should be basically your reason to get, you know, the Scorpio because expecting the 4K 60 frames per second is probably not going to happen. And um, maybe, you know, on a game here, there, here, there, they may be able to uh, accomplish that. But um, that's... You're probably setting yourself up for disappointment if you think that you're going to get um, uh, native 4K gaming at 60 frames per second with that. Um, it may be 4K 30, you know what I'm saying, which is cool with you if you know if that's cool with you. Um, I would rather have uh, a 1080p 60 myself because um, I, want, I want that 60 frames per second, you know what I mean? If you, if you can't give me straight 4K 60 frames per second, then it's pretty much... You don't have a 4K gaming console. You're, you're, you're telling me some bullshit at that point. Um, it's like, what is the point at that point? Um, I would say that if you're trying to get the Scorpio, that should be your main reason to get it is the 1080p60 because there's one flaw here. That with both systems, the Neo and the Scorpio, and that flaw is this everybody... No man left behind shit. No man left behind. So basically, the same thing that is happening with 
uh, uh, that has happened so far, and I think they just cut off making games for the uh, PS3 and making games for the uh, Xbox 360. But the past is going to hold back the future, it seems. Because what these two systems will not have is exclusives. And when I say that, I'm not talking about, you know, exclusives like only... What I mean is literally exclusives that are only for that platform. You know, exclu Neo exclusives. Like as if God of War and, 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 and Horizon Zero Dawn and, and games like that would only be found on the Neo. But no, that's not the case. God of War, although looking beautiful and stunning as ever, uh, is on the original PS4. You know what I mean? Just like Gears and everything will be on the original Xbox. You see what I'm saying? The developers for each of these companies, Microsoft and Sony, will not be able to build their games from the ground up. From the ground up for that particular system and no other. You feel you feel what I'm saying? So what my my question is what the hell is the more power for other than okay I guess you're just going to give us the 1080p 60 frames per second you know what I mean like um there may be a bit more graphic fidelity no doubt about that you can push a little bit more uh graphic fidelity out of that but um basically what is all especially in Microsoft's case what the hell is the 6 teraflops for you know what I mean? If you're not going to have exclusive games that your first party studios, especially your first party studios, will be able to build a game from the ground up for that particular system without having to cater to the people on the uh, 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 making it for the Xbox One, Xbox One S, you know what I mean, with Sony, the, 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 the regular PS4. Uh, the past will hold these systems back. And I'm starting to question what the fuck is the reason? What, is, what, what exactly is the reason for these damn systems in the first place? You know, I guess it's just for 1080p, 60 frames per second. Now, with the Neo, um, one thing I've no noticed, uh, uh, you know, of course, you had those documents leak again and all of that bullshit. But they the same documents, you know, from a while ago. Um, but Sony is mandating that, you know, uh, developers, you know, going forward, not the older games, but going forward, uh, they will have to have the Neo mode or, or, or have their games, you know, ran in that Neo mode, uh, uh, to, uh, to perform at 1080p 60, you know, things of that nature. They are mandating, you know, that the developers do this. Microsoft, on the other hand, is basically giving uh, developers a lot of leeway here. They're saying that they can do whatever the fuck they want, you know, um, basically with the games for the Scorpio. If they want to make a 1080p 60, they can make a 1080p 60 game. If they want to make a 4K 60 or whatever, they can make a 4K 60. If they want to make a 900p game that looks better than... I don't know what the fuck. Basically, they're saying that they can do whatever the fuck. Developers can do whatever they want, but that's a problem with me because as a customer, if I'm buying a Neo, I know that I'm being promised 1080p 60, you damn well better have every game on that motherfucker at 1080p 60. You can upscale to 4K all you want. I don't give a shit about that. I, I don't have a 4K TV. Uh, analysts say that by the end of 2016, there should be at least 10% of people in America who have a goddamn 4K TV. I mean, that that's nothing. I mean, nobody... I don't know anybody with a goddamn 4K TV. I don't even know nobody with a 4K TV. But that's cool. That's a bonus. 4K is a bonus. But... With the Scorpio, if you're gonna sell, if you're selling me on the 4K feature, you know, six teraflops to do 4K gaming, you can't tell the developers. I mean, me as a customer, you can, that, 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 what do you mean? Tell the developers they can make whatever the fuck they want? No, you can't. 
Um, I'm buying your console to get 4K gaming. You know what I mean? I'm buying your console to get 4K gaming. Every damn thing on that goddamn console better be 4K. If I have a 4K TV and I'm buying your console to get 4K gaming out of it, you're damn straight. Every game that comes to that system better be 4K. The same thing with the Neo. Every game that comes to the Neo better be 1080p, 60 frames per second. And I mean on everything because looking at this further, people are complaining about the online, the online portion of these games. Like, well, okay, let's say this. So basically, people who are on the PS4, original PS4, and Xbox One, if they have a game that comes out, okay, and it's supposed to be on all of these systems or whatever, and the online portion of the PS4 and the Xbox One runs at 30 frames per, se per second, then that means we, owners of the Neo and owners of the Scorpio, will have to play our goddamn games at 30 frames per second? That doesn't sit well with me, not at all. That doesn't sit well with me. I mean, I'm not cool with that because, no, I didn't, I didn't buy a goddamn console that promised to do 1080p 60 or a console that promised to do native 4K gaming uh, 60 frames per second uh, to actually, you know, uh, sit there and play at 30 frames per second. You know what I mean? Whether it's on goddamn multiplayer or whatever. You can say it's an unfair, competitive, uncompetitive advantage or whatever. The, I don't mean, or whatever the hell you want to say. I don't give a shit. Um, I, bought, I bought the console, you know, for these specific features. You know what I mean? So I expect these specific features. That, 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 that's the way I am as a customer. You know what I mean? So I'm like, what the fuck really are these goddamn consoles for? You know what I mean? What, what are these consoles for? You see what I'm saying? Because it seems like we could do without the goddamn consoles, to tell you the damn truth. My thing is, either go full force with this shit, or don't go at all. This, this mid-gen shit, I don't think they should try this ever, ever, ever again, because you can't, if you're not gonna have actual exclusives for the goddamn consoles, I mean, allow the developers to actually build games for the, from the ground up for, for for the consoles itself, then you're never going to see the true power that is in these consoles. What the hell is the point of goddamn four teraflops, six teraflops, eight teraflops, ten teraflops? What's the damn uh, uh, point of it all if, if if we're not going to see this power used at its fullest potential? You know, I don't, I don't, there should be, there should never be a time that I should be playing. I don't give online, offline or whatever. There should never be a time that I should be playing at below 1080p or below uh, 60 frames per second on the PlayStation Neo. There should never be a time that I should be playing if uh, 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 below 4K in 60 frames per second on a goddamn uh, 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 Scorpio. There should never be a time that I should have to play games below those settings as a consumer. That is a no-no. So it's like you want to stay in the generation instead of really go out. And, you know, Microsoft, when we come to the, uh, you know, the Scorpio situation is, 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 is a tricky one. You know what I mean? Because they want to say that it's a current gen console but goddamn sub 1080p gaming to all the way up to 4k gaming i mean that that's goddamn next gen to me i mean i'm not gonna even revisit that i mean i, I don't understand how to how to perceive it as any other thing i mean that's an next gen would what would if this is the um it's still a current gen xbox 
then what the fuck would be the damn uh, new Xbox? Uh, 8K gaming? I mean, what the hell? I mean, that that's... It's always... It, it's been Microsoft's vision for quite some time to uh, um, um, have, you know, backwards compatibility, uh, the, the UWP shit uh, uh, with Windows, you know what I mean? Uh, universifying their shit to where they can scale up or scale down. It's been their... Uh, it's been their outlook on shit for, for, for quite some time. So their future, they, they've already said their future consoles will be, you know, backwards compatible and forwards compatible. That, that, that's their thing. Sony will come out with a PS5 that will stop making it. It, it will have its own set of exclusives. I can tell you that damn much because that will be the angle. Uh, uh, Microsoft is, 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 trying to diversify and um unite with you know the PC side of things the windows side of things reinvigorate their windows store and get sales software sales in that manner you know what i mean so so that that's the direction they're going they're sharing the exclusives they 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 you know they're pushing them out you know on 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 the PC platform as well as the uh Xbox platform and everything will be able to scale up scale down and you know everything is cool with the the windows 10 shit but sony's whole you know sony you know they don't own a goddamn os so uh the way sony is going to attack the shit and get you is to say okay well um you know we're going to show you these vicious ass games that uh, our, our, our developers uh, are making. And um, the only way you're going to be able to play them is to get a goddamn PS5. You know what I mean? Or PS4 or whatever. Now, nah, that's that's how they're, they're trying to get... Sony is still trying to keep their exclusives exclusives and give you a reason to buy a goddamn PlayStation. But if you're going to restrict me from playing I don't care online offline or whatever playing below 60 frames per second 1080p at any time on the neo then that 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 that's some bullshit okay I'm sorry you know what I'm, I I know y'all want to say no let no man left behind and all of that shit but um no I don't I don't want to be held packed back so the uh the more I think about this shit these mid-gen systems, you know, what they want to say mid-gen or whatever, it it, it 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 it's starting to sound more and more like some bullshit. I mean, that's that's just pretty much where I'm at with it right now because at no point in time on the Neo should I be playing below 60 frames per second, 1080p, and no no point in time on the Xbox Scorpio. Should I be playing below 4K resolution and 60 frames per second? Anything else is uncivilized. That's what they say. That's the way I'm looking at the shit. I mean, I'm not saying don't go get, you know, your Scorpio or your goddamn, uh, you know, your Neo and shit. I'm still going to get the Neo. I need that 1080p, 30, you know, 60 frames per second, you know, when, when that God Award and all that shit come out. But, um, you know, I don't. I wouldn't fall for this. I'm not going to go for this shit again. What I'm saying is in next, next gen, whatever. However, when PS5 drop or whatever, they better not release no goddamn mid-gen bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with the goddamn Scorpio and the next Xbox and all of that bullshit. Look, man. Allow the developers to make games specifically for those platforms to really be able to utilize the power because... If you're just going to allow somebody, you know, developers to make 1080p games, you know, uh, on a 4K system, yo, you can just use the power any way you want. That 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 makes no goddamn sis, uh, sense. You know, I I pay five six hundred damn dollars to get 4K gaming, and you're going to allow a motherfucker to uh, make the game 900p on the Xbox One. And, and and scale that bitch and basically stretch the image out the goddamn 4k resolution on my man no that doesn't make any goddamn sense to me anyway that's all i wanted to get up off my chest i'm just saying i'm just saying look just use your brain some goddamn times you know actually think about 
what the hell people are, you know what I'm saying, saying like 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 these lead spokesmen and shit for these uh companies and make your own interpretations, man. Don't just accept what people say. People always say, "Oh, you you're not listening." Yeah, then you know, they they didn't say this or they didn't you got to learn how to read between lines and think for your goddamn self. That's why God gave us a brain. I ain't just going to listen to somebody say some shit and 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 don't question it or think about it. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this matter. And, um, you know, thanks for everybody rocking out with me. You know, the new, new subscribers and everything. Um, I hope you all enjoy everything in the future. And um, that's all I got for right now, man. I'm tired as hell. I'm about to roll out. Anyway, y'all be cool. OBJ to Don, signing off.